I'm Liz Clayman with today's Clayman Confidential. I'm with Robin O'Brien, Allergy Kids Foundation founder. And, and Robin, look, uh, the EpiPen story is a huge one, but we've got to look at the heart of what's going on. Why have we seen the rate of peanut allergies quadruple in the United States between 1997 and, and 2010, the latest numbers? I mean, we know antibiotics and GMOs are having a big impact on what we eat, but what do we need to do about this? You know, I think there are a lot of theories out there and people will debate them all over the place. We get into this kind of he said, she said science. We have totally manipulated our food supply. There's all kinds of things in our food that weren't there when we were kids. And a food allergy is when your body sees food as foreign. So are we allergic to food or are we allergic to what's been done to food? Are we allergic to the GMOs that have been added to the food or the glyphosate or the combination? Those tests don't exist. And so, you know, here we are as parents doing the best job we can or, you know, like you with your nephew, you're doing the best job you can sure. to try to prevent these reactions and protect the health of children. So it's fascinating right now because you see this exploding demand demand in the marketplace for free from foods. You know, you see companies like Annie's that are totally stepping into meat, new companies like Free to Be Foods that are stepping into meat to, you know, provide these foods that are safe for these kids that are free from GMOs, allergens, peanuts, tree nuts, everything else. And at the same time, you know, the only life-saving device that these families have access to is the EpiPen, you know, and there have been other products on the market that for various reasons, you know, that definitely get down to how people play in the marketplace, to marketing techniques, for various reasons, they have suddenly disappeared. And so EpiPen has this monopoly on the market and they have jacked up the prices six times in the last six years. And when I started making noise about it about a year ago, it was right after back to school because I was hearing from parents and hearing from school nurses. I'm hearing from parents again. And over the last two weeks, I asked parents, I said, please share the receipts that you have as you're buying your, app, your back to school EpiPens it was jaw-dropping, Liz. It first started to come in around $583. Then all of a sudden we were seeing them for $602. Then we were starting to see them for $802. And the highest price I've seen is $834. Where was that? And keep in mind, I think it came out of New Hampshire. And you, mm. you know that same mom could cross the border to Canada and get that same two-pack for $125. Crazy. The difference is that, is that the EpiPen is licensed by Pfizer in Canada. Here in the United States, as you know, it's licensed by Mylan Pharmaceutical. Robin, thank you for shedding light on this. We're following the story. Robin O'Brien, thank you. Watch my Thanks, full Liz. interview on LizClayman.com with Robin and watch Countdown to the Closing Bell every weekday 3 p.m. Eastern on the Fox Business Network.